Welcome to the latest update video series for the 3D Shape Generator, which has now been out for over three years. This update has been heavily influenced after talking with Marco Iozzi, who has been working in the industry since 1998 as a 3D artist, mate painter, and now concept artist. He has worked on productions like Harry Potter, Elysium, and Game of Thrones, and is currently doing concept art and design for Thor, Love and Thunder. He downloaded the Shape Generator to help him with his own work. Marco pointed me at a set of videos on the topic of design theory by Cynix Design. Cynix spoke about the concept of big, medium, small, the theory that good designs can be broken down into one large main shape, a medium shape or shapes taking up a smaller amount of the design area, and some smaller shapes taking up an even smaller area. This got me thinking about the shape generator. If I can first generate just one big object, automatically scatter medium objects across that, and then scatter smaller objects across that, this could be really powerful. Once I made this part of the tool, it was surprising how many more uniquely appealing designs I could quickly generate with the change of a single number. Subtracting some of these sub-objects using a boolean operation made things even more interesting. With the help of Marco's feedback, I've also introduced a host of other improvements. Along with the big, medium, small controls, a new integrated panel allows you to easily revisit and change your settings, which now include more material controls and easier to install presets. A new iterator function, much like the one I coded with Chip Walters on Kitop Synth, allows you to quickly render out countless variations to quickly let you pick a design. The new bake feature then allows you to combine all the individual objects that make up the shape into one so you can continue to model or sculpt your chosen design. I'll talk about each of these new features in detail in the next few videos where we'll create a simple spaceship generator setup, use the iterator to cycle through lots of potential designs and then bake the shape ready for editing or sculpting. I hope you'll enjoy these updates to the Shape Generator and most importantly, find it useful in developing your own designs.